Luminant filed two lawsuits against us, which owners the power plant. They pay 78% of our taxes here in Sermonville County. They uh, filed two lawsuits, one in bankruptcy and then one local last September. Brian, if I get any of this wrong, you correct me. They've already lost twice. They got it through out of bankruptcy, took back to Sermonville County. They lost in February. It was a $2.2 billion ruling that they should have paid their taxes plus $140 million. They refused to pay their taxes. We had a final judgment on May 4th, I believe it was. They lost again. They refused to pay their taxes. They have it in uh, appeals court in Waco. I'm told that March is the earliest that it can uh, even be heard, uh, probably later in the year as far as 2015. Now, I'm talking about 2015. Uh, It's more likely September of October 2017 before we hear what they're going to do about 2015. During that process, they went out and spent $1.59 billion cash on two gas power power plants, natural gas, fired. So it's not that they can't pay their taxes, it's they won't pay their taxes. Uh, I'm told through their folks that they are gearing up to sue us again for 2016. They apparently, they lost in court at $2.2 billion. They are going to apparently render under $300 million this year. Absurd. Yes, it's absurd. If anybody's there from Lunit, I don't mean to offend you, but what we're going through sucks. So they should pay up. We all do. Every one of us that owns in this in this room, we pay our taxes. Or we'd have done been locked down, auctioned off our property. But they've got deep pockets, and they're going to keep fighting. And they'll try to crush us the best they possibly can. Am I biased? Yes, I am. But that's what's got us in this position. I'm not trying to defend Somerville County for what we've done in the past. Sure, some, we made mistakes. I'm not going to say we haven't. I'm sure we have. But now we're to a point that we have to make mighty tough decisions to get us through at least two years, maybe longer than two years. It depends. And I wish I had a better answer, but I don't. That's, that's the reason we're here tonight, going through what we're going through, looking for any option from anybody to do anything we possibly can the only person we won't beg is Illuminate. But anyhow, outside of that, is there any questions on that particular matter that maybe I could try to clear up? I might have only made it worse. But that's that's why we're here. So, back to you, Mayor. One other thing, if you could let the council know those areas that, that you folks are looking at already doing, um, budget, or budget Man, budget. I should have brought my notebook. Uh, I might apologize. No, that's fine. That's fine. Last year, the Heritage Center lost uh, one full-time employee. This year, they're going to lose their part-time employee. They're going strictly to volunteers to run the Heritage Center. The library, one lady's retiring. We're not going to replace that. Uh, the road barn is being looked at heavily. Who knows what cuts are going to be made there as far as employees? We don't know. Every department has been looked at. Frank and the expo and the golf course here, what, two years ago? You went through heavy layoffs trying to survive and get through four hundred plus thousand dollars yeah and here again you know not me and don because we've only been here 18 months but the other three commissioners along with mike ford they and frank and the golf course they came a long ways they they were spending a million dollars a year roughly when you came on board now it's between 251 and 400,000, depending on where we fall last year was 310 310 yeah this All year right. it looks like it'll be around three so it's not that things haven't been done. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's not that things haven't been done to get us in a better place. It's not that we haven't, well, me and Don haven't, we weren't here. They've tried to move as quick as they possibly could to get to where they need to be. When Luminant 78% is not paying, this is where we're at. Uh, did I mention any other groups? I know the Heritage, the Library, the Road and Bridge, the Sheriff's Department after the first year will be looked at once everything goes. Uh, Something about the, the fire department, EMS. Oh, department that one whole department's going to go away. Uh, if things work out properly, the there's one whole department will be absorbed into uh, the fire department and the Sheriff's Department. Uh, that'll be about 127000 Not all of it will go totaled away because some of the salaries have to stay on to be cut. It's the fire marshal. Yeah, the fire marshal. But that is one whole department that's going to be absorbed and, and taken out of the budget altogether. Fire uh, marshal not going away. It's going to another department. Right. And we're looking at everything. It's just not the ones he's 
But, yeah, I mean, there's we're looking, everybody. We're looking at everybody. Michelle can tell you, Darlene can tell I don't know if there's any other department heads in here tonight. Uh, everything has been looked at, scrutinized. It'll happen again Wednesday, and it'll happen again Friday. And I'm not making excuses about anything. That's just that's what we're doing. Did I? Go ahead, Pat. Um, of that 78% of the tax burden that comes from the union, have they paid anything? What they did, they owed a little over $9 million this year. At the beginning of uh, the very end of January, they put, paid $4 million. So what we've done, and here again, not bragging on anybody, but this court has been able to survive 2015 into 2016, almost through a whole fiscal year, on 50% of what we should have received. This month in July, we'll actually start into our reserves, but we got through, uh, what, nine months on 50% thinking that we might win, which we did, and we might get some more money, which we didn't. But that's a good question. Yes. Now, if they declare under $300 million and they only pay on $300 million next year, that will bring us about a $1 million from the plant. We'll have about another 480 to $600 million personal property that's real property that these folks and other folks own that we collect taxes on. But that will drop a budget from a $10 to $11 million down to $5 $6 million, somewhere in that ballpark. And we're property tax revenues. And we've tried very, very hard, maybe too hard, not to excite the public and try to upset the public on where we were at and what we were doing, but maybe that was a mistake. <laughs>